Right, and there we have it, our first spring portlet. Um, so now I wanted to go in and just show some some real basic things that you can do with the MVC framework. Uh, this won't be anything too uh, terribly complicated, but it, it's a good good place to start. So we saw that we have we we're, we're able to set up a default right here for framework we'll call in the render phase. But let's say we wanted to get a, an, another method in here to point to a another JSP. So we'll create a another JSP in here. So I'm just going to copy the index one. But we'll call it uh, second page. And we'll go in and edit it so that we can tell the difference when the portlet runs. Now we need to go back to our controller and we're basically going to do something very similar. We'll create another another method. It's going to return a string. So show second page. And again, we'll return the string second page which matches the name of our JSP file. And again, we have to come in and decorate it with an annotation, same annotation as the one that says in render mode. But this time we have to put a parameter on the annotation. The parameter will be page and page two. So basically what it's going to look for is a request parameter with the name of page and the value of page two. So obviously we're going to have to create a link on our index page that will accomplish that for it. Create a portlet render URL. And on that render URL, we will put a parameter. And the name of the parameter will be page to match what we configured. And the value will be page two. So then we'll notice that the portlet param name and value match what we put into the annotation in our controller. Page equals page two. So when the, the, the framework runs, it's going to look for the most specific method, render method that matches what it's got, what it's configured to do. And since we will, it will match on page equals page two, it's going to select this one instead of this one. Uh, we do need to come in and put a link using our render URL and I'm gonna just assign this to a variable page two URL and put in our a tag page two URL And I'll just publish this to make sure everything's in sync. And I'll actually start using Firefox. It looks like we're published, so if I log in, I now see the link that we created, and if I click the link, lo and behold, it directs us to the second page. One of the other things I did want to show is the parameter mapping that it, the Spring Framework is able to do in the the method calls itself. So if we create another method or another parameter here and we'll call call the second parameter, we'll call it action. And we'll just give it a value of example. Now back in our controller, we're going to modify the second method here that we created. And the framework is actually able to pick off parameters for you and assign it to the uh, the method attributes for the method. Uh, the word is escaping me right now. The, the parameters that are coming into the method. So the request parameters get mapped to method parameters. It does this with the request param annotation. If we 
you set this request param and the parameter we're, we're going to look for is the one that we just created called action and now we'll create a method parameter called my example and basically what spring is going to do is it's going to see that we've created a request parameter called action and it'll map it to this variable for us or this method parameter and then we could just use it in our method and part of this is some some spring magic with the annotations that you notice that I'm, I'm just adding this method parameter and spring knows that uh, you know it, it'll still work you might be wondering well how, how does that happen or what you know are there limitations on the method parameters that I can pass in and in the spring documentation in uh, the MVC section and this is just you can find this in the spring download or just on the, the spring website uh, the supported method arguments that's the word I was looking for is method arguments um, you can pass the request a response in you can pass the session in uh, you can pass some spring specific classes in uh, you can pass a locale in to, so to get the locale uh, an input stream or a reader output stream or writer and the request params that we were just looking at and, and some other things um, and, and you can use any of those as um, method arguments and, and Spring will magically figure it out for you and your, the code just works uh, it's, it, once you get used to it it's really impressive you can pass this string in and just as an example in, we'll just pass in a render request as well so I'm just going to write these to system out so we'll write my example does that equal and that should be equal to the value example that we set up as the request parameter And then we'll just write out the request to, just to show that it is actually there. All right. So now we republish again and go back to my web browser. Let me just log out and log in just to make sure everything's fresh. We still have our page two. Click it. You can see that my example came through as example, just like we set up right there that the rec render request was written out. So that, that will be it for my demo today. I hope this has been helpful in getting a basic understanding on how to set up a Spring MVC portlet. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Sean Newby, and have a pleasant day.